Despite Vienna not being included as an on-record eligible course, Elliot Kipjudge running a sub-two-hour marathon on that track was a big deal. It proved it could be done, and it seems to have lit a fire under the collective feet of many other runners now as well. The Dubai Marathon recently took place, and 11 of its runners finished in under two hours and seven minutes, a first for the sport. But this new record has come with some controversy. All 11 in the sub-two-hour seven minutes category were Nike athletes, all wearing Nike Vaporfly shoes, something some say gives runners an unfair advantage. Giannis Pizzolatis, a professor of sport and exercise science, says the shoe is like a, quote, mini pogo stick, saying the energy is usually lost when your foot hits the ground, which the Vaporfly shoes carbon plates counteract by pushing back and getting your foot in the air and into your stride quicker, something Pizzolatis says boosted him to his personal best marathon time by a whopping eight minutes, and Nike's own data suggests can improve performance by as much as 6%. Um, and the consequence of that, and we've been warning about this for some time, is that eventually what we're going to see in the sport is going to be a race between the manufacturers rather than the race between the athletes.